Hello everyone, the Dex here. In this video I want to show you how you can build a machine with red power, industrial craft and equivalent exchange that will generate an infinite amount of industrial craft energy which is completely free and uh, self-sufficient. So first let me show you how the system works and then I'll show you how to build it. So first you have an energy collector from equivalent exchange, a Mark III collector. And what it does is basically collect energy from the sun or a glowstone a block above it and generate EMC. EMC is a value in uh, equivalent exchange, stands for energy mass currency and basically every item has it. So the next step is a condenser. A condenser, uh, what it does is basically it's a huge chest which can also generate matter from energy. So because these two blocks are touching each other, it can draw EMC from from the Mark III collector. And here I have a redstone as my target item and generates it slowly. Every time it has 64 energy, it will create the item. Next, I have a filter here connected to a timer. Basically, the timer is connected to all the other machinery. The filter pulls out one uh, redstone from the chest, which then is placed in the deployer. In the deployer, I have a Vulcanite amulet and the cumulative redstone. What the deployer does with the Vulcanite amulet, basically with any item, when the deployer receives a redstone current, it will right-click the item it has in this first slot. So, what Vulcanite Amulet does is uses one redstone dust to create a lava block. So, that uses the redstone that's being accumulated here to create a lava block. Next, I have a repeater here connected to the same uh, timer, which activates another deployer. This deployer has some buckets in it, and again, the deployer will right click the bucket on the block adjacent to it. Next you have a filter. What the filter will do is when you receive current will try to draw one lava bucket out of this deployer here into the tubing system going down here. Next all these geothermal generators receive the lava buckets and uses them to create energy, which is then accumulated here. And the final step of the system is when a lava bucket is empty geothermal generator internal capacity, we have another retriever here, which also requires energy, that's why it has a solar panel touching it right above it, which will retrieve all the empty buckets and place them back into the deployer. And that's how the system looks. So let me show you how to quickly build it. Okay, so before I start building it, find a flat surface. I'm building mine right here. And for the sake of demonstration, it's also quite close to my previous uh, system. So I'll have uh, some reference when building it. So I won't forget uh, what I'm doing. So the first step is the Mark III collector. This is it. It's from Equivalent Exchange. You craft it with seven glowstone blocks, a Mark II collector and a red matter. The Mark II collector is created by a normal energy collector with dark matter and an energy collector is created like this. So place your Mark III collector and the glowstone block above it. Next, you want to place an energy condenser which is created like this. Obsidian, diamond and a chemical chest with covalence dust. Place your energy condenser right next to it and have redstone in the target block. Next, place a filter right next to the condenser and rotate it using a screwdriver. Filter is created like this using ray doped wafer and pistons. Dig a small hole down. Place a Place a deployer. Place your deployer here, and place a pneumatic tube here. 
shift click to place your pneumatic tube. Next, place another deployer here. Place your timer like this. Rotate it. Place your redstone wiring like this. For a time being, also turn it off because, it, as you can see, the redstone is being placed in the deployer, and the deployer is placing the redstone down the ground. So, you need to turn it off. Place your repeater and set it to and click it once. By the way, a deployer is created like this with the chest, the piston, and the redstone. A timer is created like this with stone wire, stone anode, cathode, and pointers, and the wafers. And the repeater is built like this. Cathode, wire, and wafers. Next, you want to... You want to fill your, de your second deployer with buckets. And also, you want to place a Vulcanite amulet in this deployer. Now, a Vulcan amulet is a very expensive item, as you're about to see. You need three dark matter and six lava buckets to create it. This is this system is very expensive if you're doing it legit legitimately, but uh, the reward is quite worth it, I think. So next, place a filter here, like this want to rotate it so the exit hole is here. Right click it and place a lava bucket inside. Next, place your retriever, which is created like this. Ender pearls, filters, leather, blue alloy ingots. Place it like this. And place a pneumatic tube here. Now place a solar panel above it, so it has some energy, because it requires some energy to work. And don't worry, the solar panel is powering it. It will take some time, but it is powering it. And place an empty bucket inside it. Next, dig some small hole down here and connect these two machines to redstone wiring as well. And the last step is the modular one, which you basically decide how many geothermal generators you want to have. For the sake of demonstration, I'm going to have six. They are created like this, with a generator to refine iron, glass, and empty cell. Place them like this. And place some glass fiber cable above them. And connect it to whatever you want. Again, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to connect them to an MFSU. And hopefully, if I didn't forget anything, let's see, I did, let's check I didn't, that I didn't. A filter, which is empty, place one redstone dust in it. Already forgot something. This is okay. Set the time intervals to one and a half second. That's the ideal time if you're using a Mark III collector, if you're using a lesser one like Mark II or the Mark I, you're going to have to put even a longer delay. Deployer with buckets, a filter with a lava bucket, a retriever with an empty bucket, and my geothermal alternators. Let's see if the system work. Yep, the magic happens. Isn't it pretty? Thank you. 
there you go. You go have your own an endless source of free industrial craft energy, uh, which works all by its own. Thank you for your time, and have to subscribe.